tie the game, two goals to win, gave up another, you know, soft goal that I have to own up with you. Um, yeah. Not, not, not sure of what to, how to answer that was. We can't drop points at home all the time. You know, we, yeah, we created a bunch. I mean, we created a ton of chances. I don't know what the expected goal will be, but we, we had a lot of good opportunities. You know, you gotta give credit. You know, Steph Fry makes that save last game. Uh, their goalkeeper made that save on a bear. That was a, that was a really good save in the first half. Um, you know, he was able to make a couple of easier saves, uh, but you know, credit credit them for st staying in there. But overall, I thought, you know, we created enough chances and we just couldn't score. Jeremiah, what? I guess just to follow up real quickly on that, you you said, what were you saying on the on the corner kick goal? What were you saying that you have to? We didn't have time to train it as much as I would have liked. We put Tevez at the back post. Um, it was a new position for the kid. We walked through it, but walkthroughs aren't the same as live training. And so the responsibility there, it's not on Tevez actually, the goal. I mean, knew who should have stayed with him. Uh, Josh, the initial header. I mean, it was a combination of things. But in our zone, how we, how we set up, that space is always covered. So that's, I can't blame the kid for it. Uh, so, so as far as the, what do you tell the guys when they're creating as many chances as they created in that game? Uh, for what it's worth, it was almost three XG. Uh, what, like, is that something that you can coach? Is that something that, like, when, what do you, we, what do you say? We have, we, the last two weeks, Jeremiah, last three weeks, we've been doing I would say 80-20 as far as attacking, exercises, drills versus defending. I mean, you know, I complained last week or the other week about giving up some goals, so we did a couple sessions on back four work and being a little bit more stingy. But we've worked hard and long. And look, Raul's gonna score goals, A Bear's gonna score goals. Sometimes their goal scores are streaky. You know, Raul's first game since April 15. Um, but, you know, these these types of games hurt because we should have got more out of the game. Go over to you, Nico. Mike's coming your way. Uh, Coach, on the defensive end, uh, uh, Javier Rodriguez a start today. Just wanted to get your take on his play overall in the 90 minutes. I thought Javier was pretty good. I mean, early in the first half, he was spraying a couple of good balls, but he dealt with Eduisi fairly well. Um, you know, we wanted to give uh, Yaimar a little bit of rest. I rested Jackson the other week. Javi's a good player. He's a starter on a lot of teams in MLS. I thought he was good. Owen, oh, over to you. Yeah. Uh, how important is confidence for a player like Leo Chu? Obviously, you know, his first two seasons, it took some time to grow in, but now he's looking really confident. How do you coach players like that before? Kind of what do you say to them? Well, Leo is a good talent, uh, good talent, good good player. Uh, what we have said to him the last two years of work hard, work smart, uh, plenty of repetitions of training. We were actually going to take him off to try and save some legs to because he's got to start again against Portland. But you know he was effective, so we we made the decision not to take him out of the game, and he almost delivered. I mean, he had a bunch of good balls across. Uh, so, kid was good. I want to get your thoughts on Reed Baker Whiting. He was sending in quite a few dangerous balls into the box after he came on. Uh, perhaps a movement to make him more of a regular? Well, Reed's improvement has been noticeable by the coaching staff and by everybody that watches him play. He's another one that just needs a little more seasoning, a little more experience. Wouldn't say that he's going to be the starting right back for our club now, but he certainly is going to put pressure on Alex for sure. Um, and since Alex got his thick yellow card, he's going to kids got a good chance of starting. So we'll see. All right, we'll come back around a little extra buzz 
going into this one here on Saturday back at home? It's not about me, Jackson. It's about the players in that locker room. I just warned them that they need to be prepared and ready for Saturday. But it's not me. I'm not stepping on the field. They're the ones that have to do that. And they will hear the message. Um, I think I was pretty clear. Uh, but, you know, it's up to them to perform. And we will do our jobs as coaches to make sure some of the details on, you know, set pieces, defensively, whoever we roll out there, make sure that everybody is in sync, that they're on the same page, they understand their roles and responsibilities. We'll make sure that we do our job because that's what you have to look at first. And then Jackson, the players have to remember that game as well. Felipe Makeda, over to you next. Felipe, please ask your question. I see your hand raised on, He's on the uh, Coach Brian, uh, what's next for the team? Is a little time to prepare against uh, Portland. How to recover the team mentally and physically? Well, I, I said they have a regen tomorrow, and then we'll train on Friday, and then an early kickoff, 1.30 kickoff for Saturday. So there's not a lot of time, but we'll make the best use of that time to get them ready. All right, we have time for a couple follow-ups, so go over to Maz. I know you've been had your hand raised. Hey, Maz, I'm just going to ask about uh, Alex Rohan. I mean, I know you look like a yellow card, but he was his versatility in this game and then also just all season, what you've asked of him? Well, this game, we moved him up the line when Reed came on, uh, and he was good. I mean, he played there in college for Pete and Seattle University. He was an attacking player, midfield player, so he could play there. Uh, and I actually kind of like that. So maybe there's a little bit of room there, but you know, his brother's coming back uh, probably for Saturday. So we'll see how that rolls out. Uh, Jeremiah, over to you. Yeah, well, I guess what was the, the thinking in terms of balancing, uh, going forward this game in terms of uh, minutes played and, and saving guys for, for Saturday, or was there any of that at all going into the thinking? There was a lot of that gone into the planning for this game, but then after they scored that goal, things changed. I thought we could get something out of this game, so I left guys on. Uh, I subbed Albert out because he was dealing with a little bit of you know, stomach virus, and I need him to be fresh for, for Saturday. Uh, you know, Yaimar, uh, you know, like I said, I wanted to get Chew off. Uh, Tevez is going to have to start again, so that was a sub there. So there were some guys uh, that we were thinking about for Saturday, but the way the game unfolded, it wasn't wasn't what we wanted. Nico, you still have one. Uh, just wanted to get a little bit deeper on you know Rose presses on the field. Obviously, hasn't played for a while, but it seemed like he was well positioned and he was reading the game well. Uh, what was your assessment on how he came on and kind of good. influenced the game? Good. He was good in all phases except for, you know, he wishes, I know, because I, I know Raul's body language. Uh, you know, he wishes he could have some of those chances back because normally when he's in form, he's going to score those all day long. John, you get the last question. Brian, uh, I'm curious how after this game, I know you still need to look at the film and review some things, uh, but how do you feel this game prepares you for the, the game against Portland, um, knowing that you have to make some of these changes uh, on the fly in the game? Uh, <clears throat> not sure of your question, John. I mean, San Jose is different than Portland in some ways. Uh, Portland has longer rest. Uh, that'll be one factor. What's our game plan? How much possession do we keep? How much transition moments? Where our line of confrontation is? You know, some of those questions we'll deal with. Uh, I'm not so sure this game prepared us for Portland other than it just pissed us off and we need to come back with a strong performance. All right, we're gonna let head coach Brian Spencer go. Uh, quick media announcement.